Okay, hi everybody, this is Mr. Manning, and this is going to be a video about using the general journal for a corporation. So, you should hopefully already know a little bit about the special journals. We've talked about four different special journals. The purchases journal, the sales journal, cash payments, and cash receipts. And for most transactions that a corporation has, it's going to fall into one of those four journals. However, every so often there is kind of a strange transaction or one that doesn't happen very often, and it doesn't fit into any of the four that I mentioned a moment ago. So when that happens, you go back to the general journal, which is the same journal that we used whenever we were doing small business accounting. So today we are going to look at three times when you would record the transaction in the general journal. So here's what you're going to need to follow along with this video. You're going to need a copy of the general journal, and then you're also going to need a copy of the 9-4 Work Together and On Your Own Transactions, and a copy of the 10-3 Work Together and On Your Own Transactions. All right. So we are going to start with the 9-4 transactions, and on these transactions it's going to talk about two times where you would use the general journal instead of one of the special journals. And the first one is anytime you buy something other than merchandise on account. So hopefully you remember that if you buy merchandise on account, it goes to the purchases journal. But something that's really special about the Purchases Journal is it has to be merchandise that you're buying on account. If you buy anything else on account and it's not merchandise, then you have to use the General Journal. Now the good news is that this transaction is extremely similar to how we did, did it in the um, first semester when we were doing small business accounting. So let's go ahead and do October 5th real quick real quick. It says October 5th, bought store supplies on account from Designer Supplies, $180, M35, and the M stands for Memorandum. All right, so we went out and we bought some supplies from this place called Designer Supplies, and we bought it on account. So that, unfortunately, does not go into any of the other four special journals, because we bought something on account, but it wasn't merchandise. So it's got to go into the general journal. So it's going to be very similar to how we did it in first semester. You're going to do October 5th. You first record the debit transaction, so that is going to be supplies. The document is M35. And you're going to record your debit amount, $180. And then directly beneath that, and I like to indent mine just a little bit, so I'm going to do a few uh, spaces in, is your... Um, credit. So on this one it is Accounts Payable, Hendrix, Supplies for a credit of $180. That is identical to how we did it in first semester. The key to this is being able to recognize that you bought something other than merchandise on account. Okay? All right, let's go to the next transaction. October 7th, returned merchandise to Hendrix Products, $540, DM65. Oh, and I just realized this wasn't Hendrix Supplies. This was Designer Supplies. Oh, crazy me. Okay. So the other transaction, or another transaction that goes into the general journal is the anytime you return something or something gets returned to you. So in this instance, we are the ones that are doing the returning. It says that we returned merchandise to Hendrix Products, $540, DM65. All right, so we're going to use um, October 7th. And we are going to do the exact opposite of what we did earlier. So if accounts, if when we buy something on account, the credit is accounts payable. When we return something, the debit is accounts payable. So it's going to be accounts payable, 
Hendrix products. And that was DM65 for $540. All right, now the credit is a new account that we've never used before. Um, you have an account called Purchases, Returns, and Allowances. This account is only used whenever you return something that you had previously bought. So we are going to give the credit to Purchases, Returns, and Allowances. And it is a credit of $540. All right, pretty easy. So let's go to work together 10-3 now. By the way, if you would like to try the 9-4 on your own, you should do that. So work together 10-3 is the third time where we are going to use the journal journal. And this is when something gets returned to us. So somebody else came and bought something from us at some point and now they are returning it back to us. So let's look at June 3rd first. On June 3rd it says, granted credit to Will Banks and Associates for merchandise returned, $457, plus sales tax of $36.56 for a grant total of $356. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> From S356 for a grant total of $493.56. All right, so these people from Will Banks and Associates, they have come back and they are returning merchandise. And there could be a lot of different reasons why they are returning it. Maybe it didn't work out for their needs. Maybe it was the wrong size. Maybe it was damaged or something. But, but something's happened and they don't want it anymore. So we have to accept that back. And when we do, we have to, of course, record it that we did. Okay, so back to our general journal. I am going to skip just one line here because we are in a new month. We are now in June, and this is June 3rd. All right, so what's interesting about this particular transaction is not only are we returning the merchandise, or the merchandise is getting returned to us, but we also have to refund the tax that uh, Will Banks and Associates originally paid. So we are actually going to have two debits in this transaction and only one credit. And I don't think we've ever done a general journal transaction that had more than one debit and more than one credit. So to start off, we have a new account. It's very similar to the purchases, returns, and allowances account that we used earlier, except this time it's going to be called sales, returns, and allowances. So very similar, except for when someone returns something to us, it's a sales return. And when we return something to someone else, it's a purchases return. Okay. And it is CM41. Now, how much was the merchandise value that's getting returned back to us? And this is without the tax. So the value of the merchandise is $457. So that is going to be our first debit, 457. But we also have to refund their sales tax because we originally collected that from them. Now that they're returning the merchandise, we get we have to return it back to them because we are not going to give that money to the government. We're going to give it back to the customer because the sale is being reversed. So we are going to do sales tax payable. This is the same account that we uh, collected when we did cash receipts. And it is going to be for the amount of the sales tax. So back over to our transaction, the amount of the sales tax was $36.56. So one more debit of $36.56. Okay. And then finally, the credit is the accounts receivable for Will Banks and Associates because they no longer owe us this money. So accounts receivable, Will Banks, and Associates. And the credit is going to be our two debits added together. Of course, the transaction already said it. It is $493.56. So $493.56. Debits and credits should equal. If I were to add these two together, it would equal 
56. Okay, one more transaction. June 6th, granted credit to Westfall High School for damaged merchandise, $67, no sales tax, from S345, CM42. So this one is the exact same thing. Um, Westfall High School has come in. They are returning merchandise back to us. They don't want it. Well, in fact, in this case, it's damaged. So we are going to do exactly what we did on June 3rd, except this time there is no sales tax involved because Westfall High School is tax exempt. So it's going to be slightly easier. So this is sales, returns, and allowances again. This time it is CM42 that's telling us that this transaction happened. The merchandise was valued at $67. And we are going to credit their account. So accounts receivable, Westfall High School. Credit of $67. And that's it. So quick recap. The general journal is only used whenever you cannot put a transaction into any of the other four special journals. Common transactions that fit into this category are anytime you purchase something other than merchandise on account, anytime you return something to another business, or anytime something is returned to us. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.